Thank you for your testimony. Before I call on a member of the press, you're not the public, you understand that. Um, is there anyone from the public that would like to speak that did not sign up? To speak that is, was not able to sign up? Public coming, hearing none. Mr. Hawkinson, let me explain something to you as you come to the podium. Uh, we recognize you as a member of the press, and as, as such, we give you privileges that we're not giving to the public. I think you need to decide whether you're the public or the press. If you're going to be the public, sit with the public and act like the public. If you want to be the press, sit with the press and act like the press. But you can't have it both ways. Uh, point of order, uh, or maybe even point of information, I, I'm not aware of any such rule. You just, uh, culturally I'll, speaking? I will, I will give that to you, but not in this context. I Thank see. you. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. John Hawkinson, 84 Mass Ave. I'm a little shocked to be addressed in that fashion. Uh, I am a citizen of the city as well as a member of the press. Um, and so when you asked me a question, you said you're not a member of the public. You understand that. You said you're three minutes, Mr. Hawkinson? Thank you. I'll, uh, yeah, I assume we were on the clock, yes. When you said to me you're not a member of the public, you understand That's not that. on the, on the um, agenda. Oh, I'm so very like, terribly would sorry. Like, would you like to speak on something on the agenda? Oh, absolutely, as written on my sheet. But just to answer the question you asked me, do I'm you not understand that? To answer the question. My answer is no, I do not. But with respect to the agenda, the agenda. Uh, as you know, I filed an open meeting law complaint, and it appears on the late agenda for this evening. And I'm very concerned about transparency and public process. Um, and the way this is handled makes it far worse. As you know, the complaint is because the executive session minutes you filed are entirely black pages, and it's simply not acceptable. There's not enough information for the public to know what's going on, and that's a big problem. Uh, you need to do a better job of it. But I'm actually more concerned with the way these late items were handled. My open meeting law complaint was filed on January 11th. Council Member Govern's communication was filed on January 20th, Friday. Both of those things should have been available to the public far before after the start of this meeting tonight. It's just not acceptable to only have them available right now. In fact, it's technically a violation of the open meeting law. The agenda is required to have everything that can be anticipated more than 48 hours in advance. Mine was cert or, excuse me, 48 non-weekend hours. Mine was certainly anticipated well before that. Council Member Governance, I suspect, was as well. The proper remedy would have been to revise the agenda on Friday and make them available, but certainly to have them out on the table, available to the public, not only in the books of the councillors, not only in the councillors' email boxes. No one could know that they should come to tonight's meeting to address these items if they felt they were important. How could they? They're not on the agenda. They're not available. It's not transparent. The city needs to do a much better job. Uh, with respect to the open meeting law complaint itself, of course, the remedy is to, uh, excuse me, the action is to refer it to the clerk and the city solicitor. And I want to thank you for drafting the order mentioning the city solicitor, because it will be she who, draft, who responds, and in the past that's been hidden and it's been suggested it came directly from the clerk. But please, do a better job on transparency. It is important. This is not acceptable. Thank you for your testimony.